Ryan Ellis mentioned the other day he would be interested in signing an extension in the summer. Is that a process you'd like to begin as, as soon as possible? Yeah, Ryan has another year remaining in his contract, but uh, I too have talked to Ryan. I've talked to his agent, and that's something that we'll we'll certainly look at uh, during this off season. For both of you, what, what do you think happened with Cal Turris this postseason? Um, you know, when Kyle first got here, his line really took off. Uh, Kevin Fiala and Craig Smith, um, they were pushing, you know, in the ballpark of 28 points in 28 games for all of them. Um, there's always ups and downs, I think, through the course of a, a player, um, a line or player. Um, I think clearly that when the playoffs came, they're they weren't able to produce at the level that they were. Uh, they knew it. We we knew it. Um, had, there were games where I thought that they had lots of chances, especially in the Winnipeg series. A couple of the home games, they were pressing all the time. They were hitting posts. They were around the net. There was nets that they were missing um, um, that looked like they were, you know, they could have been goals and goals scored, and it, at that point could have helped. But um, I think it was a little bit of inconsistency with the line, uh, and I think it was there was some bad luck in there too with regard to their production. But um, you know, certainly through the playoffs, I think you need that consistency and that depth and scoring. You can't always just rely on Philip Forsberg to score goals. There's got to be, as David mentioned from the year before, there's got to be contributors from all over the ice. But um, you know, it just seemed like it. Uh, there were some some things that weren't leading to production and weren't leading to offense with regard to that line. For either one of you guys, uh, how do you envision the goalie situation going forward? Do you, is Pekka the automatic number one going into next year? Or is there any sense of a competition between the two guys? Or what do you well, there's always a little bit of competition between the players in the room. I mean, we've got a really close group, um, tight-knit group. There's, I mean, there's a push for the power play units. There's a push for ice time. Um, so there's always that competition that goes on. Um, Pecker's been the number one goalie for this organization. He'll enter the season the next next year the same way. I mean, he's up for the Vezina Trophy. He's one of the best goaltenders in the world. Uh, we're fortunate to have him. We're extremely fortunate to have a young guy like you see here uh, who continues to Im impress us. Um, I think... You know, as we move through the season, we were able to find more games for Juice, and that that could very well be the same thing next year. But there shouldn't be any question in that. Uh, Ryan Ellis and Roman Yossi so consistent in the regular season, uh, a little bit off in the in the postseason. Any way you can put a finger on what might have happened there? Yeah, again, I mean the same thing. I, I think the same thing holds true for for defensemen that are offensive players. Um, I still think that Roman and Ryan played well. Um, You'd like to see that production, though, from them. And they know that they're capable of it. We know that they're capable of it. There wasn't a change in the game plan. Um, they probably still shot the puck as much as they normally do. It didn't get the bounce. It didn't get a tip. It didn't find its way into the net. I mean, Roman constantly attacked the ice with his game and his skating. It's not like he sat back. Um, the numbers just didn't come. David, you mentioned about Winnipeg and the series, that if you guys were to play again, you felt seem like you feel pretty confident. What would you have liked to have seen differently in this series that just wrapped up that would lead you to believe that the outcome would be different? Well, I think as each each question, we're kind of touching on everything. I mean, you need you know, a little, little bit more consistency, a little bit more you know, production. I mean, again, believe me, I totally respect the Winnipeg Jets. They they could win the Stanley Stanley Cup this, this year, and it was just close. I just felt that, you know, if we could do a couple things a little bit better, we, we could be have won the series. Even having said that, in in game one, is, I'm just repeating myself. But in game one, I really thought that we just we outplayed him and we didn't win a, win a game. That happens once in a while. You don't want it to happen in the in the playoffs. But we should have won that game. The three nothing game in game three, we were the best team, and we, that leaves a mark when that that happens. I mean, we should have done a better job of of, of shutting it down or, or 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 what have you. There was some questionable penalties called. There's, two goals in a four and four situation. I mean, believe me, we go through this all the time, but I don't think there's too much that's missing. But, you know, I already said it. I mean, if Roman Yossi scores a goal or Kyle Turris's line gets a goal, I mean, that's the exceeding expectations or living up to expectations that you need in the, in the playoffs. That's what we got pretty much all the way through last year's playoffs. And this year, just off a little bit. Does, it, uh, does the team gain anything by going through the playoffs? 
as a favorite this time around as opposed to the underdog the year before? Is there any kind of experience that can be a positive out of this? Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, like uh, next year will be next year. We're going to have to make our way in the regular season, and we're going to have to make our way in the playoffs. Um, I suppose we probably were a favorite over Winnipeg. Um, again, the teams were so close. Uh, you've got you've got one playing two, and that could have been switched by a, a shootout loss somewhere along the way, and one one win in Winnipeg that we took during the regular season not happening. They could have been one, we could have been two, and and that's the bottom line. And I, I think that's what we're saying about Winnipeg is that they're they're a good team. We're, we're you you want to know what went wrong, right? What what's what went wrong? We lost. We're sitting here. We played a good hockey team, the second best team in the league. Only by a little bit were they the second best. Um, it went seven games, and we came out on the wrong side of it. And when I was talking to David, I was pretty blunt about it and said, I'd take our team again and go play them again. And it might go seven games, but maybe we win that seventh game, or maybe we, maybe it gets done in a different way. So there's not, for me, it wasn't about what do we need to do to to fix it or to there it was that's that's why you play a series that's why you play seven games sometimes and the numbers were close um there's a lot of things that were close they get the they took the edge they're moving on congratulations to them and it's very disappointing and heartbreaking for for us as a team uh, uh, disappointing for our fans disappointing for our organization because there was an expectation that we would move on but um, that's why we, you know, we said well, let's play him again. You know, we can't. You got to wait until next year and go through the whole process again, and we'll see him in our division. But um, I think there's a belief in our in our room that that we can win and be successful. It's clear you're not thinking wholesale changes off of that. But based off of what you saw, is there anything on your team you'd like to see? improved or a little bit different when you come back next year? I think there's always things that you're working on. There's never one thing. It moves. That, I, I've said this during the year. That that target moves all the time. Um, you know, it was it was discipline in the year and even in the, but in the, in the second series, our discipline was very good. Um, there was there's power plays where sometimes you're, you're hot and then sometimes you're not. You're working on it or the five-on-five five play or you're trying to get a line going. Or, but that moves all the time. Um, I don't, uh, to, to uh, I guess, back up and agree with what David said, we're not looking for, I'm not looking for wholesale changes. He's not looking to make them. We believe in our guys. Uh, we believe in our team. And... Um, we got to. We have to take time off. We didn't win, so we're done. It's over. So we got to take time off. They're forcing us to go away this summer and go on our own. And when we come back, we'll be excited to get to training camp, and we'll be excited to go at it again. For both of you, how uh, how affected was Ryan Hartman then by this injury, and and what are the long term expectations for Ryan for this club? Um, well, I think again, it comes at the trading deadline, and uh, you know we've had a lot of things in places. He got shuffled around a lot. Lavi said to him in the exit meeting that basically I think your expression was the cupboard is open so when you come to training camp take whatever you want meaning we're open to him playing up in the lineup or different positions uh, maybe power play opportunities uh, Lavi and our coaches uh, put Ryan on killing penalties which he didn't do in Chicago and we find that he did it very well for us so maybe that's something else that we found so um, it'll be his best chance to to you know, with the whole year to, to to know exactly where he fits in, but I'm I think he's going to be and hopefully be a player with us for for a number of years. I think he's in a different way, but he's in my mind I kind of compare him to the Sissons Jaren Kroc in terms of value and where he can move up and down the lineup and do do different things. Yeah, I think I, I think I think it affects him. Not not like Cali. You know, the injuries were different, and um, Cali's was a tough injury at the time, and and. When he came back, he would he was cleared to come back, um, but there's always that. Um, I think it's one, it's in your mind, and two, there's the actual uh, physicality that comes with a game. Um, we were able to manage Ryan's, but I'm sure that he probably wishes he wasn't dealing with it or he didn't have to to, to worry about that. 